show you how to make a tender stem and prawn stir fry with an oriental dressing. Now for this, the ingredients I need, I've got some raw tiger prawns, some toasted sesame seeds, chopped up coriander, tender stem broccoli, oyster mushrooms, some bean sprouts, chopped up red chilli, some grated ginger, chopped garlic, I've got some runny honey, some rice wine, soy sauce and some wok or stir fry oil. Now the first thing I need to do to start off the recipe is have a really nice hot wok. It's very important when you actually do a stir fry to have all of your ingredients ready prepared because the cooking process is very, very quick. So first of all, I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of this wok oil into my hot pan. It'll just take a few seconds to heat up. You can just see it's starting to shimmer and it almost smoke, so that's just about there. I've got some chopped red chilli. In it goes. Some grated ginger. And some chopped up garlic. I just want to stir fry these for about 30 seconds just to take the initial rawness out of them. Any longer than that, they'd cook too much. Just top it around. And now we're ready to add a few more ingredients. And the next thing we're going to add, I've got some delicious tender stem broccoli. Now the tender stem broccoli is really thin stems, so there's no preparation required for these. If you do find you've got some slightly thicker stems, they can be sliced in half. I'm just going to pop this straight into the pan. We've also got some oyster mushrooms. If they're large, you can tear them in half. If they're small, just leave them as they are. Some bean sprouts, a good handful of bean sprouts. And then some raw tiger prawns that are peeled so they can go straight into the pan. I just want to give everything a stir around, or if you're feeling confident, a nice toss around in the pan, providing you don't throw it all over the kitchen. Just to get all of that nice ginger, garlic and chilli from the bottom of the pan up to the top and mix it all around. And then you just want to continue stirring and moving this around or tossing it in the pan for three to four minutes until those prawns turn pink in colour. You could use chicken as well if you wanted to, to keep the fat content low. It's really quick to do, it can make a brilliant midweek meal or even a great alternative to a Friday night takeaway. If you want to serve some rice or noodles with it at the end, then you can do it, it makes a nice balanced meal. Just continue putting this around in the pan. It just needs a little bit longer because these prawns are still slightly grey in colour. You can see that they're almost there, but just not quite. We need to make sure that they're completely cooked through before we move on to the next stage. That is ready for our next few ingredients to go in there. So it's almost cooked. I'm now going to add just a couple of tablespoons of rice wine, or you could use dry sherry add a nice bit of moisture to the pan which will steam as soon as it hits the pan so it adds an extra bit of cooking liquid to there. I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce and then to create a nice sort of sweet sticky flavour add a couple of tablespoons of runny honey just stir that around to get all the honey off the spoon and then I'm just going to let that cook stirring and turning it around in the pan few seconds to create a nice sauce and a coating for all of these prawns and the vegetables. It gives a lovely flavour. And as the sauce boils away, it just goes slightly thicker. I'm just going to add a sprinkling of chopped coriander. And then it is just ready to serve. I should turn the heat off. So you can see how quickly that is and why it's important with the stir fry to have everything prepared already. So I'm just going to get a plate and I can serve up. Now this would be plenty to serve two people as a main course, or you could have it as four people to have as a starter. Like I said, if you want to serve it with noodles and rice, then by all means do. I'm just going to put this in a nice big serving bowl. Just scatter some toasted sesame seeds over the top for that lovely nutty flavour to add on to the stir fry. That's finished, so there you have your delicious tender stem and prawn stir fry with an oriental dressing.